I don't remember what she was wearing, but she looked so amazing. Effortlessly stylish. Today we're gonna to talk about that, how you and I can look effortlessly stylish this spring and summer. Hello ladies, I've got a treat for you. Today we are beginning part one of a two-part series. We are gonna talk all things chic and effortlessly stylish because to me those two things are synonymous. I, I guess I'm kind of tired of the word chic. <laughs> I've used it a lot in these videos, but really that's what we're gonna talk about is how, how do you do this and not just do it once, but do it over and over on a daily basis so that you really begin to look like and feel like that chic woman that you see and you want to be that, right? My name is Kay, and if you've not been here before, I'm so glad that you're here. I hope you enjoy what you see, and if you do, be sure to give me a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe to my channel while you're here. This channel is growing. We are mostly a group of women over 50, I would say, although I do think we have some younger viewers too, and they are always welcome. But really, I show up here each week trying to encourage and inspire, and just to help women over 50 dress our best, but still feel appropriate for the day that we are living and the people that we are encountering. We want to be able to engage beautifully and graciously, so we need to get dressed for our day. But today we're gonna to start talking about how to get dressed for our day in a way that just translates as chic. And so let's think about what does that mean? First of all, what we're gonna do, by the way, is today I'm going to give you some real styling tips for how to do that, how to look effortlessly chic. But next week, I'm gonna give you some even more important tips because there we're gonna talk about how to build that kind of wardrobe so that you really can do this on a daily basis. Because without that kind of wardrobe, these tips aren't gonna mean anything. All right, let me get started though on what it means to look chic, what it means to look stylishly, or effortlessly stylish. That's what we're going for, effortlessly stylish. Because see, that's what I think chic is. It's when you can tell, your eyes can tell that some effort was made. This wasn't somebody who didn't just roll out of bed and walk out the door. She put some effort into her appearance, but not too much effort, right? It's we, re we remember the woman, not necessarily the outfit. Now we remember the overall feel of the outfit, that it was that stylish, chic outfit, but you, the next day you might not even be able to say exactly what she was wearing because I think that's another part of it. There, she's, maybe she's wearing things that draw some attention. They certainly are either a little elevated or a little interesting. They maybe have some details to them that draw your focus, but they don't draw your focus away from her. That is when we get out of the realm of effortlessly stylish, when part of the outfit detracts from the woman who is wearing it. Because really, you want to be the center of the focus of your outfit. You don't want your outfit to grab all the attention. Another element of being effortlessly stylish, I think, is wearing an outfit that's to a degree is timeless. Now, there could be some modern elements, there could be some trending elements, but overall, that outfit feels like it's timeless. And then finally, I think to be effortlessly stylish or chic, then it, it has to be a cohesive look. There's, there's gotta be something about the look that makes it just work, right? Like it just works. <laughs> all the colors work together, the fabrics work together, the, the pieces all work together. It just, and it feels restful to the eye. Like your eye knows where to go. Your eye is hopefully drawn to the woman's face, to your face. There's nothing distracting about it. There's nothing disjointed. Your eye isn't having to try to figure things out when you look at that outfit, that overall look. It just feels cohesive. So how do you do that though? And especially how do you do it on a daily basis without having to spend so much time and so much energy figuring it all out? 
because we don't only want to look effortlessly stylish, I think we kind of want to be effortlessly stylish. We, we want to put in a little effort, but we don't have to work at this every day, do we? We need some tips, some principles, I think, to help us to create this kind of look on a daily basis if we want to. Now, let me say this. There are days when, honestly, I don't want to look effortlessly stylish. For instance, my daughter is getting married this weekend and I don't want to look effortlessly stylish. I want to look glamorously stylish. And there's a fine line there. There's a little bit of a difference. Also, there are some days when I just want to look happy and joyful and playful a little bit. I don't want to look effortlessly stylish necessarily. So I'm going to give you some styling tips or principles, but I do not necessarily advocate that we need to do all of these things every day. Also, I think you'll find that if you just employ one or two of these things, you don't have to do all of these styling tips for every outfit. The first tip is to not wear anything that is going to grab the attention from you. Now, I'm all for statement, you know, necklaces or statement earrings or even a colorful handbag or colorful shoes. I mean, color is big this year and you absolutely can wear color in those places. But we don't want to wear anything that is just so outlandish that all I see when I see that person is like just their shoes, right? And we don't want that for us. I don't want somebody to see me and they're immediately their gaze goes to my feet. I want them to see my face. So one principle is to wear the things that we wear in a way that draws the focus to our face, to our eyes, really specifically eyes, maybe our mouth, because when we're talking, we want people to notice our mouth and to pay attention. But we especially, especially I think like in a work situation where you are maybe speaking or presenting or teaching, you certainly don't want to wear something that is going to draw the focus down or somewhere else, or really that's just so distracting. Now the second principle is to wear color strategically. And I have several tips here, but I do think it's kind of important for us to learn some strategy when it comes to color. One great strategy, of course, is to go monochromatic or maybe to wear two colors. But that monochromatic look is really, I mean, it takes a little practice, but it is so interesting and it really is so effortlessly chic. So building an outfit maybe that's all black or all creamy beige, right now natural color jeans are really in. So I have built this outfit here with a natural colored sweater and a natural colored jeans and even some shoes in that same color, that same you know, tone. And it just works and it's very seamless. It's not distracting, it's not disoriented. It's just that cohesive look. So that's one way to wear color strategically. Also consider neutrals for that effortlessly chic look. Now I'm all for wearing color, but when I really do want to look kind of effortlessly chic, like she just, I just threw myself together and I look oh so wonderful, <laughs> then I do tend to opt for neutrals at that point. And so like I love this outfit here where I've worn black pants, I've worn that kind of an oatmeal colored knit tee and an oatmeal colored blazer and those black shoes. So it all just works with, with neutrals. It's very settling, very restful for the eyes. Another tip is to definitely wear color, but maybe choose not to wear too many colors at once. For the most part, if I want to look chic, I generally choose to wear one color and one neutral. Now, sometimes during the spring and summer, I do like to wear a little bit more color. So sometimes I'll wear maybe two colors, but a lot of times I just steer away from wearing just so many colors, especially in chunks or, you know, blocks. So color blocking is in, but it needs to be intentional, like maybe in a dress or in a, an outfit in a strategic way. And it, it takes a little art, I think, and a little strategy to do that. So I think generally, if I want to look effortlessly chic, I think I do a little better when I you know, minimize the number of colors that I put in my outfit. If I do want to wear a lot of color, then I think I have to be strategic then too. And so what I kind of like to do is wear all that color, lots of different colors in like a pair of shorts, like I've done here, or a pair of pants, or maybe a skirt, 
or a dress. So you can wear lots of color in that one place. And then everywhere else, I kind of tone it down. I like to use a piece to anchor everything. So a lot of times I'll use a denim jacket to anchor a colorful outfit or I'll use just a neutral colored top or a neutral colored pants or neutral colored shoes, whatever, to kind of tone everything down, pull everything back together, anchor all of that color. And then my final tip for wearing color strategically is simply to maybe create some rules for yourself. You know, maybe spend some time playing with color yourself because I think everybody wears di color differently. Like I kind of like to limit my color palette to about five colors and I try to choose colors that will mix and match together nicely. But you may be the kind of woman who just loves color. You like coloring all of your outfits. But I do think it's important that you maybe make some rules for yourself that you know that, hey, that worked. I wanna do that again. Write it down, you know, take a picture with your phone. Use that as a guideline for using color in your outfits from here on. My next tip, big tip, is to wear a hero piece if you want to do that, but only one, there should only be one hero. <laughs> and so if you're gonna wear a hero piece, and that would be maybe so, like a statement piece, whether it's a statement blazer, like I've done here with this plaid, or even if I were to wear a more conservative blazer, but it's got gold buttons on it or something, that would be the hero piece there too. So, you know, whatever that, that hero piece is, the one that really has a little gravitas to it, or it really draws a little bit more attention, let that be the hero and let everything else be kind of the supporting cast. You know what I mean? We don't want too many heroes going on. That's what's going to create all of that, you know, mayhem in your outfit. And it, you know, it's unsettling to the eyes. Another way I think to look effortlessly chic is to consider wearing more natural fabrics. Now we can't just do that all the time. Really that's not practical. I don't think these days to try to build a wardrobe that's just all natural fabrics, all linen or cotton or, you know, tinsel or whatever. I mean, we're all going to have some knits and you know, some, some created polyester type fabrics in some of our clothing. But when you wear things like linen or 100% cotton, um, those things really do kind of have that effortless appeal to them. And even if they have some wrinkles, if that's the nature of that fabric, that is perfectly okay. And it actually is gonna to contribute to another point that I have coming up. But those natural fibers really do kind of give you that really chic, a little bit of an elevated look, but still effortlessly. My next tip is to wear those basics. For some reason, I tend to think when I'm putting an outfit together that I need to wear all those special pieces. But really, I found the better strategy is to wear maybe one special piece, like I said, that hero piece, and let everything else be those wardrobe basics. Now at my website, if you subscribe to my email service, which I send out an email either every day or every week, you get to choose, you also will have access to all my subscriber freebies. And one of those is a list of spring and summer wardrobe essentials. In those, you'll find things like t-shirts, just classic shorts or classic, you know, solid colored cropped pants or an ankle pants. Those basics really do combine to create some of the most effortlessly chic outfits that you will ever put together. I got so many compliments recently, three compliments in one brief period when I wore a pair of black jeans, a blue t-shirt and a blue blazer all really wardrobe classics, basics, very basic pieces, but when they were put together in that way, just look stunning. So don't forget to wear those basic pieces. All right, let's talk accessories a little bit because sometimes this is where we really mess up. We just over accessorize. Now I think to look effortlessly chic, you do want to accessorize. That's that effort. She put a little effort in. She put some earrings on, she put a necklace on, whatever she put her watch on. Those accessories communicate she made a little effort. But remember, we don't wanna look like we put in too much effort. We overthought things. So we want to be strategic with our accessories too. And one thing we don't want to do is wear all the accessories. So you don't need to wear a belt and a hat and sunglasses and a scarf and statement shoes and a colorful purse and a brooch and a big statement necklace. 
We don't want to wear all of those things. So really be very strategic. And I honestly do find that Chanel got it right. You know, put on what you want and then probably take something off before you go out the door. I have just found that really less is working better for me these days than overdoing it. Don't be afraid of a statement necklace or a statement earrings or even a statement bracelet, but let that be the one hero and make sure that everything else looks either a little minimal or you just leave it off. You know, there's really something very interesting about a woman who wears beautiful statement earrings a big, you know, big nice watch, uh, watch or bracelet on her arms and then chooses not to wear a necklace at all. It's very interesting and very intriguing. When you are accessorizing, remember you don't have to wear them all. Accessorize strategically. Think about what is the one accessory I really need. And don't forget that things like your handbag and your sunglasses are accessories. So you've got to consider those if you're going out somewhere and you're going to be seen with that handbag and with those sunglasses. That may mean that I don't want the statement necklace if I'm going to be wearing my big old sunglasses the whole time. I may not want a belt if I'm going to be wearing a crossbody bag the entire time. So think about how all of those pieces are going to work together. And then finally, when it comes to accessories, I've realized too that style hacks actually work as accessories. So if I'm doing things like rolling my sleeves up or flipping my collar, maybe I'm wearing a few rips or you know, distressing in my jeans, maybe I am wearing um, a, a blazer with the collar turned up or something or I'm cuffing up the sleeves on that blazer, those style hacks count as accessories visually. So you want to make sure that you're not doing like so many style hacks, plus you're adding on so many accessories, it just gets to be too much and it's too much for the eyes to take in. It doesn't look effortless anymore. Of course, another principle is that we want to be careful about over matching our outfit. Now, we want things to go together, to work together, to seem like they belong together perhaps, but we don't want things to look matchy-matchy, like granimals, you know what I mean, you probably dressed your kids in those. But we don't want things to match too much. So next week, in next week's video, I'm gonna give you a strategies for how to make sure that you're able to do that with the wardrobe that you have. But we do wanna be very careful. In fact, it's really fun and interesting to mix some prints a little bit, put together some unexpected colors. Everything does not have to match in that monochromatic look, for instance. Your whites do not have to all exactly match. Your blacks do not have to exactly match. Your navies do not have to exactly match. It actually looks more interesting and more effortless when things are maybe just a little bit off. Now these last two tips are so important if we really want to have that effortlessly chic look. And the first one is to do something that that makes your outfit look a little undone, just a little like, like she threw herself together. She put these beautiful pieces together. She looks great, but she's a, a little undone. She's a little careless in it all. And here are some ways to do that. One is just rolling up your sleeves, not doing a perfect cuffing, but just that kind of scrunched up, rolled up look. Another thing is that front tuck where you give it just a little bit of a sloppy front tuck and you let the rest of your shirt hang out a little bit. Of course, if you've got some distressing or a little hole on your jeans somewhere, we don't wanna to do too much probably, but a little bit of that or that raw edge hem, that's another thing that looks a little undone. Maybe wearing some sneakers with your dress instead of sandals or heels, that looks a little undone like she just threw those on. Or maybe wearing some kind of a flip-flop type sandal that looks very casual and like you just stepped into them before you walked out the door. So also wearing a handbag or a shoulder bag that has a little bit of a slouchy effect to it. These are ways to kind of calm an outfit down. Like even when I wear a blazer, I almost always just roll up the sleeves of those blazers because I'm not going to an office. <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not an attorney in a courtroom. I'm just a woman wearing a blazer as a casual garment. So that little bit of undone is a great way to give yourself that stylish, effortlessly chic look. 
And then the final tip is you do need to add something casual to those dressed up looks if you are indeed wanting to look casual. Now there are times when of course we want to really look pulled together and just really dressy and really refined and definitely don't, don't mess those up. But when you are wearing something maybe that's nice like some dressy slacks or some pumps or that blazer and you are wearing something nice but it is a casual situation. You are a casual woman. You are at leisure. You're not going to work. Then we do want something else in the outfit that looks a little casual like that slouchy shoulder bag or those sneakers with your outfit instead of loafers or something. Maybe even something just like pushing your hair back behind your ears or if you have long hair pulling it up into kind of a messy ponytail or a messy do in the back. Those sorts of things also can give you just a little bit of a casual vibe. All right, so those are my tips for looking effortlessly stylish, but be sure to join me next week when I will tell you how to create a wardrobe so that you can do that. Thanks for joining me today, ladies. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next week.